about. Let's get ready to go. Do, do, do. I've just had the biggest commute ever to downstairs. So this is just how varied my job is. Two new staff start in next month. It's officially the week. Yeah. and the day has finally come where I do a day in the life of me work from home. I'll do a really short introduction because I do start work in five minutes, but I have been asked to do this video for quite a while and I've been putting it off because I don't want to do it in the office and I would laugh in front of everyone. So now working from home a little bit more, we thought we'd show you a different day in the life, working from home, behind the scenes, how to stay productive. So I woke up about eight o'clock, I had a shower, I've got a proper cup of coffee, got a Percy Pig mug from the lovely Chris for our Christmas do. Yeah, I start work very soon. I'm just gonna quickly do my hair and makeup and just show you like my morning routine. So here we go. <laughs> My favorite bit hair i'm just gonna have it down i'm just gonna straighten it for the day um as you might already know i work for strivex as a client coordinator but i am a qualified hairdresser and have been for the past four or five years so i like doing hair it's quick and easy for me always use heat protection Wow. We aren't expecting hair tips in a accounted video, but one hair tip I can give you is when you are straightening, I just find it so much easier with a comb and like you get your section and you just straighten your hair by section by section. And I I just help, it just helps you in the comb just to guide you through while you're straightening. Um, and instead of just clamping it down, just very gently to just like guide the hair down. And if you do it really slowly, you just find that it just straightens first time. You're not having to keep going like that because the worst thing in the world is just to keep going over the same bit and putting pressure on your hair. Hair is done, makeup is done. I do start work now, so I am going to start my laptop up. One of the things working from home is I'm very, very bad at not having breakfast. So going to just get quickly get some food downstairs and back. <music> That was really funny. I was halfway through recording and the camera battery died already and it's only 10 o'clock. <laughs> My first part of the morning, I deal with lots of emails. So being a client coordinator slash admin assistant, I get a lot of requests about new onboarding. So if a client wants to onboard with us, what usually happens is Rachel would have a lovely one-to-one -one meeting with the client. From the meeting, she'll write loads of notes and she'll prepare a proposal for them. When they have the proposal, they usually have quite a lot of questions and are quite nervous. So it's just nice for them to have like a friendly face um, and just to guide them through with any questions they have. A lot of new clients we have, they are new business owners and they're just at the start of incorporating a new company. Even though it's such a cool thing to, to actually have your own limited company, it can be quite nerve wracking and there's quite a lot involved. When you incorporate a company, there's a lot more responsibilities that you have and more accounting services that you need. So people are quite unsure of, of what to do. Um, so I just sort of deal with any inquiries they have or questions. I 
incorporate the companies here so I would just ask them a few questions. Yeah, I have actually have got a, a incorporation to do later on which I will speak to you about but with the client onboarding process so I basically are the middle person before they meet their accountant so once a client has signed the proposal I would then send them a welcome pack and in the welcome pack it will have um, a page of all of us at Strivex, a little bit about us um, a plan of action, sort of how our billing works, and that we send off a monthly newsletter just to keep people update with Strivex and our lovely pup Blue. So once I have the welcome pack, I will then ask them for information we need of them. So usually it's like personal information, like UTRs, company authentication codes, lots of very various things and we asked them to set up direct debits just to sort of secure the engagement process and have to legally do anti-money laundering checks so i would ask them for proof of address documents and photo ids once we have all of that and the client is really really happy i will send off a sign email and in the signed off email this is where they get to meet their accountant and have a lovely one-to-one -one video call with them just to really assure them um, it's quite an exciting thing as a business owner to say that they have a meeting with their accountant and they've officially got an accountant so yeah once i am really really happy that they are all signed up i will then send my manager rachel and james an email just to review their profile their checks and the billing that i've set up if they are happy then they will go ahead and sign the client off as a signed off client so a little bit about how we onboard with clients so i'm just going to go and whiz through my emails now <laughs> clients sign their proposal so we get to send them a welcome pack and I can quickly show you what's included so we do it all on Canva because you can basically do whatever you want on Canva so we've got a lovely front cover we've got the contents of what they'll find inside the welcome pack hey team all of us here and who we are as DriveX with a little description about all of us our services so whichever services the client would like we would give them a blue circle just to show them what they're um, getting from us um, if it's going to be ad hoc so obviously giving support advice and advising clients we are always here on the other side of the phone um, if clients ever need help monthly services like payroll and bookkeeping quarterly would be VAT and annually could be like accounts tax returns the extra stuff, company corporations, which we'll do later, office address, confirmation statements, which would be an annual thing for companies. We show um, how our fees work, so we bill on completion, their to-do list, so it's always gonna be unique for every client, and our plan of action. Also, we have a lovely network of helping hands, so we've got if any of our clients need mortgage advisors or insurance brokers or recruiting agencies, we would always recommend um, someone who we trust to them. So what I'm gonna do now is send off a professional clearance request for one of our clients. So clients who are joining us, who have got companies, there's lots of key information that we need from them. So a great way to collect information is to request a professional clearance from their previous accountants. Um, so this could be like their UTR numbers, their national insurance numbers, company authentication codes, VAT numbers, certificates, payroll references, um, and not only is it information, it's we normally request their past two year um, accounts and their tax return, just so we have a really good understanding of what's been done before and what hasn't been done and what we need to do. So I'm just gonna request one now for one of our clients. <laughs> best things about working from home for me and it's the top of everything else is you get to spend all day with your cozy cuddly pets so we've got a black and white cat called Millie and she is somewhere she's always in my sister's room because she just she just lives there she absolutely adores my little sister 
So, little Mills, we got you on the camera. Look. I don't know what it is about pets, but as soon as you get the camera on them, they just hate it. They get camera shy. So being an admin person, I answer all the phones. The phones come to me first. If I don't answer, it goes to overflow, which means the rest of the team answer. Um, I've missed a few phone calls this morning due to recording. So I am going to bring a few clients back and see if they want to speak to me. <laughs> Okay, so he won't get taxed on all of it. Um, he'd get taxed after his personal allowance. After he gets paid that amount, he'll get taxed at 20% of the remaining salary. Um, there's also national insurance tax as well, which is a little bit different. <laughs> So I've just been sent posts from our registered office address in Reading. So I'm just gonna quickly go through all the posts, have a little skim read, send the codes out and some letters if they're really important. And if there's codes that we can use to activate um, taxes on our agent's account, then I'll do that now. <laughs> has now been forwarded to all the lovely clients so now I'm gonna make some lunch so my mum very kindly has made me lunch she normally does when I work from home just because there's all of us at home and she loves cooking so I'm gonna have my lunch outside and spend it in the little bit of sun that we have where is it I'm absolutely gonna love spending lunch out here in the summer just to catch a little bit of tan on my lunch break because why not and I've got a cheeky packet of crisps as well okay I had some food so now I'm gonna get ready for my call with Evie so we incorporated a partnership a few weeks ago and when you incorporate a partnership you can only add one partner while you do the corporation. So now we have the partnership UTR, we can now add the other partner onto it. Hi Evie! Hello! Hello! I've just had the biggest commute ever to downstairs. So I'm gonna be incorporating Adam as a company, like I said earlier. So you can do this online and it's about 12 pound filing fee, which isn't too bad. So a few things to think about is the company name you'd like, but you can be known as something different as a trading name. The registered office address, this is public, so a lot of directors don't want this to be publicly available online, so they use an office address services. Um, SIT codes, they're quite important because you can't really change them afterwards, so that's just describing the activity of the business. Um, shareholding, so a director might want to have all the shareholding or go 50-50 with their partner. Sometimes you have multiple directors, so you'd be splitting it between each other, etc. So I'll be doing it now for a company and in a few hours when they accept it you get a certificate of incorporation. So it's quite cool, you don't really normally think about incorporating companies until it's part of your job role, so it's quite a cool thing to be able to do. So I have just incorporated a company, yay! It's quite hard to show you too much of what's going on the computer screen because most of the time there's a lot of personal information that I can't um, record. So I'm somewhere else. I'm in my car. Um, I just thought I would pop to the gym just for like 40 minutes to an hour just to sort of stretch my legs. I feel like it's just a nice way when you sit down all day it's just nice to move around, do exercise because um, it's quite difficult to sit down all day even though it might sound really easy you get a bit fidgety and you just want to release your energy in the gym so I'm not going to do anything too big today I went yesterday and I'm a little bit achy so I'm just going to do a little bit of running um, a bit of stretching afterwards it's just nice um, to get out of the house and a bit of different scene so you're going to come to the gym with me here's my local gym 
it's absolutely huge like the whole top floor is just of equipment so it's really nice you've got a big amount of space let's get ready to go do, do, do. so i am back from the gym and i wanted to go through with you what i do every day just so you've got sort of got an insight to what my role is um here at strive x so every day is so so varied you're dealing with a lot of different clients different businesses so everyone's got different questions and it's quite nice because they've got a different outtake to account in so everyone's going to have different things they want to ask um, and it's quite cool learning about all the different businesses because there's some things you would never uh, like think about or would know otherwise. So usually the start of my day I would make a priority with responding back to client emails, client onboarding, there's a lot of people that have direct debits with us and um, monthly invoicing to some people so getting back to them urgently is quite important helping the internal side so bookkeeping matching up payments that have come into us um, to invoices any bills we have to send off helping out all the accountants so if they have a question they're not sure about setting up gateways raised invoices for the work they've done usually towards the end of the month so the last week week and a half i do payroll so we've got about 60 clients to do payroll for so usually i ask for timesheets and hours done for the month i've got then got to check the tax codes are up to date to make sure they're paying, the employees are paying enough tax um, and they're paying the right amount. Sorting out the salaries, some people want to be opted out or opted into pension, so every month there's always a change. Some people have got new staff starting as well, so setting them up on the payroll. And then I would send the pay slips off to the client once it's been accepted and approved and then file it to HMRC and let the client know how much tax they need to pay. So it's quite an important role, which is quite nice having that responsibility on you. Oh, we've got two new staff starting next month. So, so this is just how varied my job is. Yesterday I was setting up two new employees' computers, setting up software, their email accounts, making sure they have all our documents, making sure that everything's really accessible to them, so having all the shortcuts on the desktop, all their signatures are correct, and they're set up for our holiday system, which is quite cool. I absolutely love wax melts, and Yankee Candles have done a sugared blossom wax melt. It is absolutely lush. Oh my god. And I'm gonna put one on just to make everything smell nice and happy. <laughs> So it's half five, normally I finish at five o'clock. It's been doing longer in the gym than I need to. Go through the last emails, there's quite a few important things to do to set up payroll for next week, so. this video fun interesting making you want to go into the counter if you're on the borderline not sure usually um, after work I'd go out or go to the gym if I haven't been at lunchtime um, or go, like, go for a little walk um, or just like sort of chill that's me done for the day Peace out.